Hello, I'm Chloe. I'm from China. I love travel, but I have no programming background. Maybe you didn't see the link here yet. The truth is, before I joined the boot camp at WBS Coding School, I used to work for a sales company in the tourism industry. And now you can see the hint. Although I worked for a tech company, I never had a chance to read even one line of code. My role always focused more on the business side, until COVID came and changed everything. And I finally got some time to think about, okay, what I wanted to do next. So I decided I wanted to open the curtain on the stage and find out what is the technology of the product that I had been selling for years. And now here I am, completed a 15 weeks of web development course in the bootcamp and managed to deliver my own personal project. And now I'm very, very happy about the decision that I made. I enjoyed it a lot and I'm looking forward to continuing my career as a web developer. Thank you for watching the video. Today I want to show you about a mobile app that I have created. Before I start to take you walk through the project, I want you to imagine a situation where just imagine you're at a music festival and you're very, very excited and happy and you just want to connect to everybody around you. You want to know what's going on here and there and you want to know if there is any secret party at night. Or let's say if you are moving in a week and you want to sell all of your furniture but you don't know where to post and you don't want to pay the delivery fee not only for you, also for the potential buyer. So what is the best case? The best case will be someone in your neighborhood want all of your stuff. So now came the idea of this mobile app. It's uh, a chat app based on the user's current location. So it means that once you checked in at a location, you can start to talk about with all other people who also checked in at that location. So now let me show you. And on this login page, and if you don't have an account, you can just click sign up and then you can create an account. As I already have an account, I will just sign in. And then if I click sign in, you will arrive at this uh, map page. To allow this application to work, first you have to enable the browser or your device to use your current location. As you can see, there is a pink or say purple-ish marker on the map, which uh, is your current location. And you also can see some blue ones around it. And these blue ones, they're the existing chat rooms nearby. And if I click on the map, you can see there is a red pin. And the red pin means the new location where you click at. Like if I keep clicking, you can see the red pin is moving. And also with the red pin, you can also see the blue, some new blue pins are, uh, appeared which means every time when you click on a new location and uh, the app will search the nearby rooms. For example, if I click on one of the blue pins and you can see the name, which is the name of the current chat room. And if you click checking, you will arrive at this chat page. And here on the toolbar, you can see the name and how many people have connected to this chat room at this moment. And this messages uh, is the message that's fetched from the database. So here, um, to show you how the chat application work, I will just use another account. And here I'm at Templehof Field. And I will also go to the same chat room. Here you can see the name of the room and I checked in. And now, if you notice it, the numbers have changed from one to two. 
And now if I disconnect it, which if I click go back, I'm disconnected in the room. And now the, the uh, member changed back to one. So now if I send a message that says hi, the message will appear in the other device, which is the other user's browser at the same time. And if I go back and I check it again, I can still see the message. Now let's see other functions of this application. Here, if you notice, there is a search bar, which means you can search any location in this search bar. For example, if I search here, garden, and now you can see the red pin where is at the tier garden. If I click on the red pin, and I can give it a name to create a new room. And now I create create room. I'm arriving at the new room. If I go back, Yes, if I go back and I go to somewhere near Tear Garden, see? This one is the Tear Garden that I just created. And it will also appear, um, where is it? Yes, it should be here. Yeah, it's also appear on this, uh, on the other browser. So behind the scenes, how the technology work is for the front end, I use Ionic React for the framework. And for the back end, I actually have two server applications. The first one, which is connected to query the database, and let's call it the database server. And the second one, which enables the real-time communication, let's call it the socket IO uh, server because I use socket IO. So every time, when I create a new room, the frontend will send the request to the database server and create a chat room in the database. Hence, everybody else using the device can, can see the new room. And when you click on the map to put the new pin, and the frontend will send the request to the database server to check the nearby rooms. And once you check in in the room, and if you send a message, and the frontend will do two things. The first thing, it will send this message to the database server to insert this message into the database. And second, this frontend will send this message to the socket IO server. And at the same time, when the socket IO server receives the message, Message, it will broadcast to all the sockets, which is to all the clients, which is connected to the same room. Hence, the other client in the same room can receive the message. And in the database, there is another function, which is uh, the message will only be kept for 24 hours. And after 24 hours, the message will disappear automatically because I don't want to put too much pressure to create a new messenger app. It's just a tool to give to you. So you can use to whenever you want. Once you will want to communicate with people, you can use it. If you don't want to communicate, you can just shut it down. And there is no pressure at all. I hope you like my application. And that's all. Thank you.